In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a magic wand collage. Just in case you don't know, a collage is a collection of pictures that are put together to create a brand new image. Now, to make sure that we are uh, not breaking any copyright, we're going to be using websites such as Pixabay. And what we're going to do is we're going to be picking between four to six images. So that's what you need to do. In this video, you're going to see three images and I've already downloaded them. But just to show you, if you're downloading from Pixabay, let's say we're looking for Aberdeen. Um, I quite like the picture of this beach. So I'll select that. Now, if I want to download it, I click on the free download lozenge on the right and I pick the smallest size. If I pick anything else uh, apart from the smallest size, it will ask me to sign up. So pick the smallest one and it'll be much, much easier. Now I've downloaded the pictures, so I'm going to go back into paint.net and I'm just going to open them. Okay, so we'll get Aberdeen. Okay, so that's our background. I'm going to open the other ones. So I've got dog as well. Okay, so that's a selection of cartoon dogs and I want a frisbee as well. There we go. So we've got three images. Now we're going to put them together into a collage. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take one of these dogs and I'm going to use the lasso tool. So I quite like this pug here. So I'm going to very carefully draw around the pug with the lasso tool. And when I'm happy, I'm going to go to edit, copy, and then I'm going to click onto my background. I'm going to go to the edit menu and click on paste into new layer. Now this is important, watch what happens. So the pug appears and on the right hand side in the layers uh, pane, we've got a background and we've got layer two and layer two is our pug. So I'm going to place him there. And to get rid of the selection, the little dotted lines, I'm going to press the escape key. There we go. So layer two has our pug and the background is the beach. Okay, let's get the Frisbee. So we'll pick on, click on the Frisbee we're going to use the selection tool to highlight the entire picture. I'm going to go to edit and copy and then back to my collage and then edit paste into new layer. Now, if you get an, a message like this, don't worry, you have the choice. If we expand the canvas, that puts a lot of white space around our beach picture. We don't want this. So we're going to keep the canvas size. And obviously the frisbee is too big, so we use the drag bars to make it smaller. And then we place it in our image, a little bit smaller still. I like that. Okay, and then escape. So layer three is our frisbee, layer two is our pug, and the background layer is the beach. Okay, but we've got this white outline we want to get rid of. So this is where magic wand comes in. So click on the magic wand. And then we're going to click on the white space. Now, what the magic wand does is it highlights all the colors within a specified tolerance. And the tolerance is up here. So as you can see, if I put it really high, it starts to select all the picture or all the Frisbee. And if I take it lower, you see it starts to just select a little bit, which is closer to the white. So I'm about 46%. And now to get rid of the white, I just press the delete key. Not the backspace, but the delete key. And then our background vanishes, or the white background vanishes. And I can move the Frisbee round, okay, and place it. I think I like it there. Okay, and then I'll press the escape key to get rid of the selection. And that's my magic wand collage. Remember, you've got to use four to six images, and you've got to make sure that you get nice editing on each of the images so there's no artifacts or little uh, lines. So remember and use your eraser tool and your zoom tool to help you.